Good evening, I'm Sharice Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. A man was trying to sell his car yesterday, but the Jefferson Parish Sheriff says the man was shot and killed in the process. Erica Ferrando live from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. They are working with Baton Rouge Police on this investigation and Erica, a lot of twists and turns in this case. Well, there have been. This all began as a missing persons case. A man was trying to sell his car, so he met with some people who claimed to be potential buyers. His wife called police when he never came back home. A Metairie man was found dead after trying to sell his car Sunday afternoon, according to police. The victim lived on airline drive across from the Saints practice facility. His wife told police he was meeting with interested buyers right outside his home. Went outside, I think they took a test ride, and, you know, obviously something bad happened during that test ride. After a few hours, he never returned home and wouldn't answer his phone. His wife called police around 6.40 Sunday evening. We were able to obtain some video evidence last night that made us to believe that there was possibly some foul play involved. What started as a missing persons case is now a murder case. Police believe the victim was shot and killed. His body was found Monday a half mile away from his home in this lot on Linden Street which contains a bunch of banana trees that are on it, a uh, pretty kind of secluded wooden area. Meanwhile, in Baton Rouge, the victim's vehicle was found in an apartment complex near LSU. Around 1130 Monday morning, a man was seen walking to the vehicle. We had a person that was not the victim uh, come out to that vehicle uh, in order to unlock it and to get into that vehicle. As detectives approached him, he ran into a wooded area. A Jefferson Parish Sheriff's detective shot at the man but didn't hit him. That man and a second suspect who was inside the Baton Rouge apartments were taken into custody and are being questioned about this homicide. Baton Rouge police are looking into the detectives use of a weapon in that chase and the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office is looking into this homicide investigation. Neither the victim's name nor the suspect's names have been released. In Metairie, I'm Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News.